Hey everyone, this is Corey and I'm going to show you how to play Easier to Run by Link Linkin Park. So like most Linkin Park songs, it's in dr drop D, so tune the low E string down a whole note to, to a D. So let's start off with the harmonics played during the intro and verses. So you have four harmonic notes. You have a B on the B string above the divi divider between the 12th and 13th frets. You have a G on the G string above the divider between the 12th and 13th frets. You have an E on the A string above the divider between the 7th and 8th frets. And then an A on the D string above the divider between the 7th and 8th frets. All right, use your 4th finger for the B and G. And your 1st fi finger for the E and A. All right, start by picking the B twice. Then the E. Then the G. Pick the G again, then the E, then the B, and then and then the A. So So next is the chorus. There are two guitars played. First, you have uh, Brad's chord progression. All right, first, you have an E power chord. Use your third finger to bar the drop D, A, and D strings on the second fret. All right, then you have a bunch of uh, dyad fifth chords. You have a uh, C fifth chord with your uh, first finger on a on the A string third fret and your third finger on the D string fifth fret. Slide that, slide that up two frets to, to, to a D fifth chord. And then down three frets to a B fifth. All right, then you have uh, Mike's chord progression. Pretty uh, simple. Uh, there again, dyad chords. Uh, use your first. You have first. You have an E dyad chord with your first finger on an E on the A string se seventh fret, and your third fi finger also on an E on on the G string ninth fret. Slide that down two frets to, to a D. Right. Then next, uh, you have the bridge, which comes after the second verse.
All right, same chords as Brad's part during the chorus, but you're going to just play them in a different order. You're going to start with the uh, C fifth, D fifth, E, then the B fifth. So then after the bridge, you have the last ch chorus. Then you, then you go into the outro. Then at the ver very end, you s you slide that D up four frets to an F sharp. And then you end by strumming harmonics. All right, so use your fourth finger uh, and bar the G and B strings above the divider between the 7th and 8th frets and strum it. All right, and that, that's it. Next, I will co co cover the song. Thanks for watching.